of all of the pain conditions that chronic pain patients experience, there are arguably none worse than the pain of the trigeminal neuralgia, the suicide disease. Hi, this is Adel Hajjai from The Anatomist. In this channel, we are helping medical students to understand and enjoy human anatomy. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Trigeminal neuralgia is one of the most common disease of the cranial nerves. It's also known as tic de la rue. It's quite rare but considered the most frequently diagnosed form of the facial pain, with a prevalence of 4 to 10 per 100,000 of the general population, with a higher prevalence in patients over 50 years old. Trigeminal neuralgia pain is unilateral, unbearable, episodic facial pain excruciating electrical shock like an individual attack usually lasts for a few seconds to several minutes or hour but this can be repeated for hours with very short intervals between attacks the episodes of the intense pain may occur paroxysmally the trigger of the pain often is to touch the skin or move muscles of the face either talking or eating before discussing the causes we need to do some anatomy. The trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve that emerges from the brain stem, the pons particularly. It gives three branches, ophthalmic nerve, maxillary nerve, and mandibular nerve. And each gives respectively five, three, and three cutaneous branches to the face. They take the sensation from the entire skin of the face, except for a small area behind the angle of the mandible that is supplied by the greater auricular nerve, branch from the cervical plexus. Three large areas of the face can be mapped out to indicate the three branches of the trigeminal nerve. The ophthalmic nerve supplies the conjunctiva, skin over the forehead, upper eyelid, and most of the external surface of the nose. The maxillary nerve supplies the lower eyelid skin, the cheeks prominence, the other part of the nose, part of the temple, and the upper lip. The mandibular nerve supplies the skin over the mandible, the lower lip, the cheek, part of the auricle of the ear, and the posterior part of the temple. A physician should be able to map out accurately on the patient's face the distribution of each of the divisions of the trigeminal nerve. To do so, here are some details. First division, ophthalmic nerve. It gives five cutaneous branches to the face. Supratrochlear nerve. It is the smaller branch of the frontal nerve of the ophthalmic nerve. It supplies the conjunctiva, the skin of the upper eyelid, and the skin of the lower forehead near the midline. Supraorbital nerve. It's the larger terminal branch of the frontal nerve of the ophthalmic nerve. It supplies the palpebral filament, the upper eyelid, and conjunctiva and supplies the skin of the scalp nearly as far back as the lambdoid suture. Lacrimal nerve, it is the smaller branch of the ophthalmic nerve. It supplies the lateral region of the upper eyelid. Infratrochlear nerve, it's a branch from the nasociliary nerve of the ophthalmic nerve. It supplies the upper eyelid, conjunctiva, lacrimal sac, lacrimal caronicle, and the side of the nose above the medial canthus or the medial angle of the eye. External nasal nerve. It's the terminal branch of the anterior ethmoidal nerve of the ophthalmic nerve. It supplies the skin over the nose below the nasal bones, excluding the alar portion of the nose. Second division, maxillary nerve. It gives three cutaneous branches to the face. Zygomatico temporal nerve. Supplies part of the temple skin two centimeters above the zygomatic arch. Zygomaticofacial nerve, it supplies the skin of the prominence of the cheek. Infraorbital nerve, in the face, it gives off three branches. Palpebral nerve, supplies the skin of the lower eyelid. Nasal branches, supply the lateral sides of the nose and the movable part of the nasal septum. Superior labial branches, supply the anterior part of the cheek and the upper lip. Third division, mandibular nerve. It gives three cutaneous branches to the face. Buccal nerve supplies the skin over the vaccinator muscle. Don't mix up with the buccal nerve branch of the facial nerve. That one is a motor nerve supplies the vaccinator muscle itself. Mental nerve, it is a terminal branch of the inferior alveolar nerve of the mandibular nerve. It supplies the skin 
of the lower lip. Auriculotemporal nerve, it supplies posterior part of the temple and the tragus of the ear. The maxillary nerve is the most frequently involved in the trigeminal neuralgia, then the mandibular nerve, and least frequently the ophthalmic nerve. The cause of the trigeminal neuralgia is unknown. However, many cases of the trigeminal neuralgia are believed to be due to compression of the trigeminal nerve by nearby arteries or veins. The most common arteries that involve compression to the trigeminal nerve are the superior cerebellar artery and anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Not to mention that sometimes tumors can also lead to compression. The results out of this compression leads to demyelination of the trigeminal nerve. Injection or electrocoagulation of the trigeminal ganglia may be necessary to abolish the pain. Sometimes microvascular decompression is the surgical treatment for the trigeminal neuralgia. The retrosigmoidal craniectomy is a posterior lateral approach of window located just behind the sigmoid sinus and just inferior to the transverse sinus. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you like it don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and let me know in the comment below if you like to discuss a particular topics. See you in the coming video.